Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday. In this video we're going to discuss part of the structured solver, specifically the interior controls. Here we have a domain with very interesting clustering defined by breakpoints on the two vertical connectors. Let's get right to the structured solver by first selecting your domain and then going up to the menu and clicking Grid Solve. As you can see here in the panel, the structured solver gives you a lot of controls, primarily controls around the edge or the boundary of your domain and on the attributes tab it gives you a lot of controls regarding the interior of the domain. We're focusing on the frame that's labeled interior control functions. It has a drop down box that gives you three options Thomas Middlecoff, Laplace, and fixed grid. The first option is Thomas Middlecoff. This method clusters the interior grid points based on how the grid points are clustered on the boundaries you can see how it carries the clustering from the sides into the interior. It's very reliable and stable and that's why Thomas Middlecoff is the default. The second option is the Laplace. This method provides a smoothing effect on the interior region and disregards any controls on orthogonality or clustering. Let's run an example. Click on solve. We'll run it for 20 steps. Push run. And you can see here it has a very diffusive effect on the interior of your domain. I'm going to reinitialize it. Let's go back to the attributes tab so we can talk about the last option in the interior control functions drop down box and that is fixed grid. This is a very subtle method. It tries to smooth out any minor slope discontinuities. Let's run it for 20 iterations. And as you can see, the final grid will look very similar to what you started with. Thank you for watching, and have a pleasant Tuesday.